Now, back to the insiders with James Ham and Kyle Madsen, brought no. to you by Jiffy Lube on ESPN no, 1320. James Ham is black? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine somebody tuning into this for the first time? Like, that is not what I thought James was going to look like. <laughs> uh, Kenny Carraway here for the handoff. James Ham, the Kings have some media availability today. So James is going to cover the Kings, which is obviously what he does. Uh, so Kenny Carraway hopping in for the handoff here. Uh, where are we at? Here we go. He's Kenny Carraway. Acknowledge me. There we go. I do it right? Yes, sir. Oh, come yes, on. Sir. <laughs> well, actually, I say yes, sir first. Yeah. Oh, but, that's you know, a, that, my bad. No, don't, don't worry. You, you don't, that's a dry, is a dry run. You and it, you man. guys are coming up at noon. Yeah, man. Oh, man. I, it's happening again. Kings Warriors again with the season <laughs> on the line again. I guess today is the one year anniversary of game one. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, that was on. that was a hell of a moment. Did you go to game one? You were at game no, one. I was in Tahoe. With some friends, I was unemployed at that point. Right. Yeah, so I was in Tahoe that's, with three yeah, people, right. bro. Here's that's where right. again. So I've been, um, I'm in Tahoe with my wife, mm -hmm. uh, her maid of honor for our wedding, or matron of honor, I guess, is what they're called when they're married, mm -hmm. uh, and then her husband. Uh, her husband is is, you know, a sports guy, but not like tapping in to watch they're from kansas he's not tapping into to warriors kings necessarily right it's on he'll he'll you know watch and stuff but he's not like let's get dialed yeah so it was just a it was a weekend of we're just gonna go and just consume substances the whole weekend <laughs> kind of kind of vibe yeah, that's, and bro I feel, yeah. they're over there having a great time laughing joking <laughs> and i'm on the couch just watching on my computer and just living and dying with everything. Everything I've <laughs> I've drank and ingested has worn off. But yeah. and I am just dialed in. Um, but dude, the thing that the thing that I will never forget about game one is just how unbelievably loud mm. it sounded on TV. Oh man, and it was like even on really. and you know, and you know, like being at a game versus watching on TV, like you can like, okay, every crowd on TV, unless it's super dead, is like sounds, you know, a, mostly the same. Right. But man, it was just a. That was the. Like buzz the entire. It was. You know what? The, the crazy thing that about that, too. That was a moment. I, I, I would wonder if this actually happened. I, I don't know. I would wonder if this actually happened. But I think the hangar doors were open. And I don't know if you've seen video from that day, but they were. They showed it on the big board on, on L Street, on the mm -hmm. parking garage. And they had people that went from the, the sidewalk all the way up to probably where Tom's is right now, mm -hmm. watching the game. Nuts. So so that Nutty. whole Nutty. Like, walkway and everything else like Nutty. that. And I say that to say, I think that the hangar doors were open. I don't know if that sound didn't reverberate into mm -hmm. the arena and what you heard. I mean, because... That and then maybe you, you see you see pictures afterwards of that game in the, the Doco area. It was there was a movie seventeen thousand definitely a movie cinema seventeen thousand in the arena. There was probably twenty five thousand in Doco. I was, would say it was like, so it was many people. Insane! So One of the greatest people. days, if not the greatest day the city's ever seen. Wow! Yeah, pound Dang. for pound. Dang. Yeah. I need you to rank the great days in Sacramento history. <laughs> I, I, I'm probably the wrong person to do and it. And it was a fun game, too. Like, it was a good, oh, yeah. it was a good ass yeah. basketball game. Absolutely. Um, it's so funny because we had a whole series of that, right? We had seven games. Mm -hmm. We had the back and forth on the internet and with, with 95 7. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and again, I, I don't, I don't work at either place at this point. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just watching. I was like, just oh watch my God, get like, the oh, popcorn. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, so You're like J. Cole just watching this whole thing. Dude, I'm just hanging out. out. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> um so so all that was going on, and I did not, I had no fun mm. that entire time. Because I obviously rock with you guys and like you guys yeah. a lot, but you know, I got friends over at 95. So I, and, and you know, I'm 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 from the Bay Area and mm -hmm. I got friends who are Warriors fans, and then that's where I'm at. Right. And but at the same time, like I like you guys so much, and I'm like, man, this is this should be such a cool thing. Yeah. Like getting to watch. Okay. Like, and I said this to you guys like really early on last season, I did a hit with you guys mm -hmm. 
And people in the chat house are like, yeah, hey, come, you know, come over. We can, you know, come, come be, a, you know, root for the Kings. And it's like, no, no, no. This is your guys' thing. Yeah. Like you, I, I love it for you, for, for you guys. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I want. But I didn't get to enjoy it that way in the playoffs because it was just so like angsty. And this year it's so funny because both, both fan bases are like, Ugh. oh, no, they, like, they're, uh, they're like, that was a stressful three weeks. I hated it. It was a stressful every three weeks. So, like, I, I think a lot of people don't want to go down that level of stress again. Mm. I will say this, though. I felt that way early on. Um, there's still a big part of me that does feel that way. But it's one game, you know, and it's happening, like, tomorrow. Like, it's, like it's not a big buildup. It's a quick turnaround. One game. I'm looking forward to it, man. I really am. Yeah, it'll be. And that's the thing is, I think both. I think. For the most part, again, it, it different individual by individual, but I think for, it, for the most part, that's where everybody's kind of at. Mm. Is hey, if the season ends here, yeah. it ends here, and if it doesn't, then okay, maybe we got some action. Yeah, that's what it is. And for Kings fans, I'll tell you right now, we got we got we got a we got a built in excuse. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Malik Monk ain't there. Oh, <laughs> we got a built in excuse. <laughs> so so if it goes bad, okay. oh man, Blake you show. know, hey, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The hell was that? Especially this week. This is crazy. Oh man, it's somebody getting real disrespectful <laughs> around here. Real disrespectful. Yeah. We got right, is, that what you, you, is that what you guys? You guys are all Kings Dubs today. All Kings Dubs today. I mean, and NBA. Um, sure. just, you know, looking at the playoffs a little bit. So, uh, yeah, but it's it's Kings. I'm out on the Bucks. Bucks are losing to the Pacers. I got I got to know what's going on with Giannis. I, I don't know, know if it matters. Bucks losing. No, the it matters. If Giannis is there, they the Pacers don't stand a chance in hell. Mm. They don't stand a chance. Although they are, that is the matchup that basically got Adrian Griffin fired. <laughs> like yep. they lost to them like four <laughs> times. But playoff time, if, if Giannis can go, yeah. yeah, so long NBA. All right, that's KC, yeah. D'Lo and KC coming up next on ESPN thirteen twenty. Thanks everybody for listening to the Insiders, sponsored by.